Shabby Seekers, um, today I am sharing a project with you which is um, part of a swap that I've done on a UK Island craft group on Facebook. Um, I was partnered with Yvonne in the Vintage Secret Keepsake Box Swap and this is my box that I made for Yvonne. Um, Basically, it's a little box. It's made from a stack of filled envelopes. Just giving it some little uh, spool feet because that was one of the conditions of the swap to give it feet. Um, let's have a look at the top. Ooh. I think I've learned now where the camera is. <laughs> Right, that's just a little metal butterfly that I got from a piece of jewellery from Primark. Um, this is just some vintage seam binding that I've coloured with a little bit of distress ink and scrunched. There's a little pearl heart um, slider in there. This is a tattered flower. I used the Tim Holtz dye um, and some lace and just cut several different layers um, of all of the the shapes and I use them all so you've got the largest then I've got the sort of bitty one and then the smaller one folded and then the very small one just underneath this little pearl centre um, these are some paper flowers that I got from my friend Lily um, and then I just twisted um, their stems just to give it a bit more interest. This is a Fernley design frame with a little um, vintage picture in behind. And then this is some green flat back trim, uh, pearl trim that I got, I believe, either from Lavish Laces or from Annie. <laughs> I can't remember which, but both ladies are fabulous. Um, this is just a, a a cut out, a cut out, a printed out um, postcard. Um, I had just had the image on my computer, so I printed, cut it out, and gave it a bit of a distress. The paper in the background is um, Raspberry Rose, um, which I believe is actually a digital company, but they did a, a free pack of papers with a magazine ages ago. So that's that and then on the inside I've just done the same same paper but I've added a couple of uh, elasticated bits of ribbon so that I could put in a postcard which is where I'll put my little note and then the center and cut out um, this is what, how it becomes your secret secret box um, I've lined with some Prima uh, A4 pad, I've used one of those. Um, as you can see, I've given it a little trim of the green pearl inside. Um, some pretty uh, lace trim that was actually attached to, if you can see, it's like that kind of fabric. I think it was either cuffs or a collar or something. It was in a stack of vintage pieces that I got. So I just trimmed that down and it was just just the right size um, and shape that I liked. So that when I close the box you've still got just that little bit showing through. Give it that nice shabby look. And like I said the feet are just um, spools. But what I did to make it a little bit sturdier was I used some, I had some rolly sticks. Um, so basically all I did was I sharpened the edge almost like a pencil um, and then cut them down sort of small, push them through so they go through these and actually into the stack. So I just shoved them in with a load of glue. That just makes the, the feet a little bit more sturdy because the cardboard inside the envelopes is just loose so I thought well just to make it a little bit more secure um, 
and make the stack a bit more secure. That's how I do it. So that is my box for Yvonne. I've also got some other little bits and pieces um, that will be going inside. For example, cute napkin that she can use, some little handmade flowers which are going to sit in there like so. So that's the box I made for her. I will quickly share the box that she made for me because it's absolutely beautiful. This is the box that I received from Yvonne. How beautiful is that? See, same premise. She's got little dark bead feet on hers. Again, she's used square envelopes, whereas I use the uh, rectangle ones. And then that's her inside. So it's kind of nice to see the difference just um, with a make it and see how what you come up with kind of thing, how they can be so different. So yeah, that was mine. That was the one I received from Yvonne. Thank you, Yvonne. Um, and yeah, so I hope that Yvonne likes this when she receives it. I um, obviously won't put this video live until I know she's got it. So. Hope you like it, Yvonne. Right, thanks for watching. Bye.